Hi folks, today I bring you a panel from a car radio Fusion model STC7011U. The panel uses a TM1621 with a DAP48. This driver model exists with a TFP44 capsule and we can also find it as a DAP28 in the reference TM1621C. Since we have already covered this driver, I will spend time just on the standouts. The control binding air ship selector, data in and the right pin which take the rule of the clock in this case. The panel has the identification of the pins on the connector. I didn't need to look for the schematics on the web. We find the pin markets as L and R that are for use with a um, GND analog uh, related to the 3 mm sound jack. There is um, other two pins marked as DM and uh, DP related to the USB input for the inputting wave files. We also have the K pins for the Ks and the knobs as well as a pin for the micro and the infrared receiver which are both options not coming installed on this panel model. Important is the plus 9 volts DC input to power up the backlight and the, the blue LEDs that bring the panel to life. Logical po power is the plus 5 volts DC associated with the GND. The datasheet of the TM1621 is available in the web and uh, I like um, call the attention to the configuration of the driver uh, because you need activate in this panel of course four common pins to the LCD. This is done changing the AB in this common here where you activate the, the the four common pins, okay? This is very important because if you don't activate this, if you let with uh, only with the uh, three common pins or two common pins, uh, is only possible um, break to the, the the segments uh, allocated to the, the the common pin you you done the configuration. The data sheet have the pinout or the both situations of pinout to the IC. And the, the, the remaining things is not very relevant because looking to the code um, you can determine the, the kind of the command you, you send. For example here you have 110 to read, 101 to write to the, the driver, okay? The flowchart of the, the comments and here uh, you can see the format to write here Okay, and for example, looking to this line, you have 101, this is a common to write, and after you have 6 bits allocated to the position of the RAM where you write, and after you have 4 bits which uh, make the settings of the segment stats. Okay, here you make a reset of the command and start again with a new command and new data. I like to it alert the code is not clean, okay? This is only when uh, sample where you can get some uh, lines 
to adapt to your code. This is the implementation of the pins used by Arduino, pin 8 as a data, 9 as a write, in this case it's the same of the clock, chip selector is a 10, the button pin 2, or the pin 2 in the Arduino, uh, support the trigger, and by this reason I use this button to do it the uh, function to uh, search the segment's number in the, in the, in the LCD. This is a normal function like normal use to, to control the, the auto send the comments to the drivers. The important is, for example, the init of the LCD. We already referred this command line here where you make the configuration of the how many common pins you will use. In this case, it's important to use four pins, okay, because uh, you have a total of the 128 pins, um, but uh, each pin supports 32 pins, okay, it's four times 32. After you have the test of LCD, uh, for example, here you have the option to send uh, bit by bit to activate uh, each segment, one, gr one group of the 32, another group 32, other group 32, and uh, is the last time, because if you have four common pins, you have four groups, each group support eight times uh, by four bits. Here I activate the segments with one, here I deactivate the segments with these four zeros. This is the group to the animation, is the same process, you send a block with the bits corresponding to your segments you want to write or not. Here you have the message folk. Okay, you can check bit by bit at segments of the LCD. Segment clear, segment test. Uh, okay, this is a function you can uh, activate or not. After you have the loop where I call four functions and you have also here the option to run the, the function of the segment search. And the last is the interrupt service routine here to search the segment's number. If you activate or if you uncomment this line here, you will receive in the serial monitor the number of the segments each time you press the button, ok? About the connections to bring the panel again to life, you can find here the block of the pins, uh, this is a bottom view of course, and clock, ship selector, data. Here you have the K1, K2, VA and the VB uh, belongs to the quadrature button, ok? MIC uh, and the high air belongs to the microphone and the infrared receiver. These both options are not present in the panel. Digital gain D TP and the DM belongs to the USB connection. R and L belongs to the input of the audio coming from the 3 millimeters jack. Analogic GND is to be used with both pins of the sound. 9 volts DC use it to power up the um, 
backlight and the blue LEDs plus 5 volts BDD the panel presence is not used it is only to, to detect the presence of the, the panel or not and that's all this is a small representation of the the number uh, of each segment in the, the LCD you can see uh, they don't follow a specific sequence okay you have the pin 38 here for example and the uh, 108 in this position I, I not find any relation between the the, the digits and the, the last digit are only of se seven segments here a small digit also only support also seven digits and here you have predefined symbols but it's not relevant you can activate it is a wheel you can make the animation the segments uh, the number of segments are uh, here six uh, five uh, seven and eight Okay, this is uh, the identification of the segments.